In the world, cardiovascular disease remains the number one killer of men and women. In the United States alone, CVD leads to one in every three deaths and one death about every 38 seconds. Thanks to a recent trial and study, medical professionals have found there's something that helps lower that cardiovascular risk. Dr. Deepak Bhatt is here today to tell us more. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. Dr. Bott, can you tell us the results of that Reduce It study, that trial? We studied 8,000 patients for about five years and randomized them to either a drug, ethyl, or placebo, and found a 25% reduction in cardiovascular events, including a 20% reduction in dying from cardiovascular causes, a 31% reduction in heart attack, and a 28% reduction in stroke. Wow, those are great percentages. And can, can you tell us why this is so groundbreaking when it comes to CVD? Absolutely. So for many years now, doctors have known that high cholesterol is a risk factor for heart disease, and treating it with drugs such as statins reduces that risk. What hasn't been clear, though, is to figure out what to do with people that have elevated triglyceride levels. That's another fat in the blood. And those are the sorts of patients we studied, finding that even though they were on statins, we could further decrease their risk of things like a heart attack or stroke or dying from those causes if they were on ethyl versus a placebo. Now, those statistics that I mentioned earlier, they're pretty staggering. Why is cardiovascular disease so prevalent here in the United States? Yeah, that's a terrific question. Things like smoking have come down, but on the flip side, things like obesity and diabetes have gone up. And in fact, the diabetes and obesity epidemics are fueling a surge again in cardiovascular disease, especially in particular parts of the country, especially in younger people. So that's why cardiovascular disease remains the number one killer in the United States, and for that matter, in most parts of the world. Wow, okay, and so now where can our viewers get some more information? You're giving us really great information here right now. Sure, so I think that if patients are worried about their triglyceride levels, well, first of all, many of them don't know it. It's not like cholesterol, where I think these days most people know their cholesterol level. I would say that people should pay attention to their triglyceride levels, and for that matter, doctors need to start paying more attention to triglyceride levels. So for patients that are worried about what I've just discussed, probably best thing to do is just ask your doctor and see, A, is your triglyceride level high? B, do you have cardiovascular risk factors on top of that? And C, might you benefit from this sort of drug, icosapentethyl? All right, thank you so much, Dr. Bott. Thank you for having me. And thanks to Amarin for sponsoring that segment.